Feminist. It's Heidi from SkypeViolinLessons.com and we're here to work on smooth bow changes today, especially at the frog. So what happens a lot is that we have this crunch that happens <laughs> here at the frog because our frog is so heavy and our arm and our hand gets heavy and we have this beautiful sound until we get to about here and then we change and it's just not very pretty. So in order to fix that, one thing that we can do is tilt the bow onto two hairs near the frog. So it looks like this. That really takes a lot of the weight off the frog and you're going to put that weight on your danglers, these two fingers in the middle, and they cradle your bow when you go to the frog. The second thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna make this motion that looks like turning a doorknob from the left to the right like this. So when you start out, your at the tip, your weight is going to be on the first finger right here on the bow. When you're at the frog, your weight will be shifted to the pinky and the hand will move from here to here, from this position to this position. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like in slow motion. Now keep in mind, you wanna keep your elbow, wrist, and base joints all on the same plane as this is happening. And thumb needs to stay nice and relaxed. So again, we're tilting onto two hairs, bringing elbow, wrist, and base joints all in a straight line. And then your fingers are gonna be very flexible. So they actually do the remainder of the work at the very frog, bringing your bow up releasing it and coming back down. So it's gonna look like this. If you can do this, you've got a good start on nice smooth bow changes with the frog. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.